Welcome to the Dirt Time channel. I'm Alan Halcon, and this is my distinguished friend, Dude McLean. That's me. <laughs> I like the pose there, by the you way. You like but... that? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've always been a fan of your canteens, and every time we go out on an outing, it seems like you bring a new one out with you. Talk to me about some of these. I'll talk to you about that. Um, first of all, I couldn't find my most bitchin' canteen. What'd you do with it? I have no idea. I figure you stole it. I'm going to blame you until I find it. Of course. He blames me for everything. Uh, this is a canteen. This is a gourd canteen. It's all wrapped in a, a basket-type weave. This isn't really something you particularly carry on you. Mm -hmm. It might be if you've got a pack horse or a goat or an understanding girlfriend. And what, 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 what? B -b 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 to carry it. Oh, okay, to carry it. I got it, just like a yes, purse. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, gotcha. Uh, for those of you that have been to any of our dirt time events, this particular gourd is always hanging by my lean-to. Mm -hmm. And uh, this keeps water very cold. As long as there's a slight breeze and this is in the shade, it's great. Again, this isn't something I'd recommend that you carry. Well, and again, this is here, here it, again is another example of Paul Campbell not making that net for you. No, actually, an old Indian lady made that net for me. So it's more authentic than Paul Campbell. Wow. Whoever Paul Campbell is. I wouldn't uh, even brag about that. Yeah. Uh, this is another example of a gourd canteen. This is pretty cool. This is nice and light. And it has a hidden compartment that you can drink from. Well, no, I, I mean, I like, I can already see how this works. So you uncork the top and you drink. Out. That's right. No, of course, there's a hole in the back. <laughs> right. But this is easily repaired. And the next time you see this, it'll probably still have the hole in it. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> you know why he does that, by the way? He purposely leaves a hole in there. So when we get on the trail and he says, Alan, I have no more water. Can I have some of yours? He does that intentionally so he doesn't have to carry the extra weight. Hey. I understand how this works now. Age and treachery. <laughs> Above youth. <laughs> Talent and skill. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, this is a World War I canteen, and I like this really well. It's lined with, it's got wool around it, and it's got the canvas over it. It carries real well. I like the cork. And uh, it, it works, it, it, it rides, it's contoured here in the back. I like that. Yeah, so it rides well on you. Well, I know some people out there, they may find one of these and eventually that cork is gonna be broken. So any cork that'll fit into that hole from a wine bottle or something, you stick this, this yeah. eye bolt through yeah. there, yeah. will work fine to right. replace it. It's kind of like, you know, this is a really technical like rocket science. It is rocket science. It I'm, is rocket I'm sure it was some right. rocket scientist that invented that. This is a World War II canteen. This is stainless steel. And if you can find any in stainless steel with the canteen cup, man, those are the best ones to get. Yeah. Uh, they have the new versions, of course, that are the plastic ones. Right. I don't care for those at all. Uh, this is a formed leather canteen. And this is lined with beeswax. You can see some maybe in there. I'm not sure. Uh, That's very cool. Yeah, and this, this also keeps water very cool, and it works well. It looks like something Moses would carry. Moses probably did carry that. <laughs> then we get into the more modern things. If you're going for a traditional look, is, is that defeating you? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay, so what you have to do, now you can push down on it. Okay, what we can't show here is that this has got a porcelain bottle in here. So this is built around a porcelain bottle. This keeps things. I want to see the porcelain bottle. You got to undo the. I'm the not undoing up. it. This is yours. You <laughs> should know how to do it. He just broke my goodie. I just broke his goodie. You don't want to break about that, do you? <laughs> not now. All right. Well, we'll leave this piece of junk over <laughs> here. And this is another little hanger canteen that goes on your uh, belt. Okay. And this is either out of World War One or Two. I'm not sure what this came out of, but this is like Danish or one of those kinds of outfits like that. And this is an old Stanley thermos. These still work great. If you want hot coffee or something really cold, they still work fine to go in your car, etc., etc. So we kind of covered traditional things, the more modern things. And you know, on thermoses today don't work any better than this Stanley thermos does. This is probably out of the 60s. Um, right. Well, you know, one of the other things that I really enjoy is your packs. We've already done an episode on packs. And, in fact, I used to own one of these. <clears throat> and then... Then I stole it. <laughs> well, and then I thought, you know what, I want to be more tactical. And then I'm coming around full circle and I want to go back to this style. But uh, 
I was out, I was looking out there for a pack that would have similar characteristics, but wasn't necessarily did something that was a little more affordable. And I found this Everest pack. I wrote a review about this and I put it up, I don't know, several weeks ago, but I've really come to like this pack. And let me show some of the features in here. So we can see that it has the three pockets, just like this LL Bean does. It has the three pockets. It's a little more modern. I've treated it with Tektron water repellent, which is working really well. All right, and this is wax cotton. Inside here, I have all kinds of goodies in here, but it's oh, let's go through your pack like you guys oh, did. Oh yeah, uh huh. It's compartmentalized, so anyone that's a student or anything like that can take full advantage of the various compartments in here for pens, notebooks, and what have you. I'm a perpetual you. student myself. Well, most of us are. We have the side pockets in here, which hold a lot of stuff. They're zippered as well. Stuff is very important. Stuff is very important. We won't go into the details of stuff because everybody's stuff is personal. Did that make sense? Of that course it sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the pockets on the sides. The only thing that I wish this had is you have your pocket here, and let me just illustrate with this hatchet. You have this pocket here, which drops all the way down to the bottom. This one doesn't do that. I wish these pockets would have a pass-through on the on the back end, yeah, but they don't. Yeah. And this does it on both sides. And this particular LL bean pack has a stiffener here in the back. Yeah. And, uh, Mine doesn't have a stiffener, but I do put my I do put my sleeping pad back in the back and it right. makes a quasi stiffener. And this has the uh, Well you have D-rings here. Yeah. You this also has the thing to go around your waist if you need it. Okay. Now dude, how much was this pack? $99. 99 Oh, that's on sale because they're usually more than you that. You get them all the time for yep. $99. This was only 35 So that makes me like uh, $55, $60 better than you. Wow. <laughs> you always it's all of, about money. You're always full of jokes, it's man. It's always about money. You're always cutting me down. You're always putting me down. It's my job. Why do I even hang you out with you? You pay me to do that. Did you just have to make that public? I told you never share that with anyone too late okay well dude as you can see I'm trying to get back to that more traditional look I right. really like the canteens I'm almost there but for right now I think I'll stick with mine I like that there you go I'm Alan Halcon dude McLean dirttime.com check your six